it doesn't matter. Again, Mr. Williams, I invite you to conversate with me directly. I don't do all this internet stuff. The problem is, is you're going after my family, you post my children, and then you mention my name. So you and I, we need to have a conversation. And yes, this is a forever problem. It's me, Darius Cooks, also known as your local scammer. You are, you know, you gay, grown up in Chicago. You just end up being with a tribe of people. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. I, it might be different now, but when I was growing up, there were crews. We had people we hung with, right? Anyway, and I hung with people like, you remember Calvin, LaBelle. You know, those are people that I used to hang with back in the day, and you see what happened now, especially with randomness of veil. We ain't heard hide nor have him, have we? We ain't heard hide nor have him, have we? Just come to think of it, let me not bring his name up because let me tell you something. He probably, child, he ready to, where's the expose? Where is the expose? So they don't know what's about to go on. You just attack them. You just attack them up. What did I say? I said, you better do what I said to do. Did they think you're crazy? If they think you're crazy, they'll just walk away slowly like that. Yeah, I stole from the church. Um, then, okay, the first time I remember, I definitely remember stealing was I stole from this lady's purse, a teacher at school. I was on, did I give it back? I probably should go up there right now and give a donation. That's probably what I need to do. It was this teacher at school, and I used to go to, um, what school was this? It was Douglas. I guess I was in House B at Douglas. I was in House A. I, I forgot. But this was, this would have been like 1990. Okay, let me see. Hold on. If I graduated eighth grade in 95, it would have been like 1990. Or something. Girl, that's so long ago. I can't remember shit. 30 years ago. Okay, that's how long ago this shit was. 30 years. So, um, I thought nobody even seen me steal that money out of her purse. I took $20 out of her. And I would take the money. I used to go to like, um, I mean, with that 20, I went to the corner store and I got me some, um, oatmeal cream pies. I got some vanilla ice cream. I got some of them toasted coconut donuts. I got me some tangy, um, cheese shit. But I was fat. I was still in the heat. I was fat. We was poor, right? So I remember I stole from the lady, lady purse, and I had got caught. 
And I said, damn, how they catch me? I ain't nobody even seen me go in her purse. But they, they found each other. I had to go to the principal's office every day. I had to call my mama. I got my ass toe clean up. So that was the first time. The second time I remember stealing was at the church. The third time, this is when I said, I better stop this. I think I came to my senses after this, after the third time. After the third time, I said, this is, you know, the third time I got caught. I said, no, I can't do this. It was like more like organized crime. I could have got a RICO charge. I could have had a RICO charge. Let me tell you what happened. I had this job, right? I told y'all this before. I had this job. I used to work at Frank's Nursery and Crab in North Riverside. Third, third, I know. Girl, I was a kid. You kids do dumb shit because they kids. I used to work at Frank's Nursery and Crab. It was in North Riverside, right? It was like, when you go into North Riverside, you gotta go past the Best Buy, and then on the right-hand side, before you go to the mall, there's the, um, it was Frank's Nursery and Crab, right? And I used to, um, I was on the cash register. Let me tell you what I used to do. So let's say you come, and you pay your, you come to the um, register, and you do your stuff, right? You be like, okay, I'm gonna um, cash out. You know, back then, the credit card, everything was separate. It wasn't the same. So what I used to do is if your bill was like $37.41, right, I would charge your credit card $41 and whatever the cent is and then take the $10 out of the grocery store. I mean, out the cash register, out the grocery store, Lord Jesus, out the cash register, right? So um, I would probably make about between like $80 and $100 doing that a day. Girl, today, till I get somebody down to the accounting department started doing a reconciliation. I thought you just started scamming. You a whole professional. I know, child. Somebody down to the um the accounting department started saying, "Wait a minute, now, store number six seventy two look a little look a little funny on the <laughs> on the P and L's." <laughs> A day, yeah, a day, child. I do it like every day. It would be like I probably do it like if I, I ain't work. I was a kid. I wasn't working every day. I was only working like specific days. So I would only do it like let's say if I work three days a week, I would do it like two days a week. I wouldn't do it the whole time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I did that. It's one of my fine. I'm not proud of it. Let me say I was proud of it. Oh, God, we thank God for deliverance. Oh, girl, please. I ain't the only person. This, you know what? This is the thing. It don't come up no more. This is far as it come up. I guess I didn't get the one with the extra long handle on this. It's fine. I, this one, I like the spin mop. You ain't got to touch it. I twisted the pole. This is far as it go up. It only go to... uh. 48. What's 48? 2468. That's four feet. This four feet tall. This is about four feet. This is about two feet. This two more feet. This tall as it goes, 48. That's it. It's not meant for me. It's meant for Maria. I love this mop. Girl, it don't the fuck go up. Extendable telescope. 22 to 36 inches or 36 to 48. Bitch, you got two choices. 22 to 36 or 36 to 48. That's it. It don't go no fucking higher than that. Okay? Now, do you want the flow clean or not? What the fuck do the size of the mop got to do? Girl, twist. I have twisted. Do you... Girl, down, up. Down, up. Down, up. I'll talk to y'all later. Five, six, seven, eight. What you got a lot so much? You must wake up and just make up stuff. Cause I just do not understand why. Every time you talk, you tell a quick lie. You and your lies gotta go. Because I'm tired of talking to Pinocchio. Then you had a nerd to look folks in the eyes. Knowing that you telling them lies. You be telling them lies. I asked you about this. Did you lie about it? Yeah. I asked you about that. Did you lie about it? Yeah. Get them lies together. They all over the place. I bet if Jesus came back, you would lie to his face. Yeah. Pinocchio. I guess you want to see how far your nose can grow. I said Pinocchio. I guess you want to see how far your nose can grow. No, Let's go, stop telling all them lies, but what? Let's go, cause I don't believe that you say at this point. Cause all you 
Hollywood. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. What's up, good people? Let me know that you can hear me in the chat by typing either the money or the work. The money or the work to let me know that you can hear me in the chat because Darius Crooks and his minions, both past and present, are trying to obviously get to the money. And everybody mad getting to the money. And uh, tonight, I'm about to put in the work uh, to break it all down. So we're um, ending this week with a bang. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Sock Snobs Fem. Uh, I already see your uh, cash app, friend. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you've gotten me used to paying attention to the cash app while I am on. Uh, also, thank you to, uh, let's pull it up, let's pull it up real quick, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Jackie over here uh, on the YouTube side, thank you Jackie for your super chat, saying thank you for shedding light on a scammer, unfortunately I do not have Cash App, that is fine friend, uh, Cash App is preferred or Zelle or Venmo because I will then get 100% of your gift to me, um, but if um YouTube uh, super chatting is uh, the easiest for you. Uh, that's also uh, however you bless me is a blessing nonetheless. So uh, anyway, and it's all scrolling across the bottom of the screen, all that information, plus our VIP text community, where you can get updates um, when we're going live, when I'm uploading new videos, et cetera, et cetera. You'll be getting some other kind of updates for other videos uh, starting next week because I'll have some time to start Getting some other work done. We got a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot of catching up to do. Some good stories I want to get on, get out there. Um, thank you to everyone who's been letting me know that you can hear me by typing either the work or the money. Um, it's all a blur for me. Why are my eyes struggling so much lately? Donna, uh, Shanice, Marianne, Mocha Barbie, uh, Arca, Arca. I'm messing it up. Delilah, Misfed X, uh, Sock Snob Films, Elizabeth, Jacqueline, Jamise, Brittany, J uh, Brittany Griffin, Don, Madam, Miss AMJ, and uh, everyone else who has let me know that you can hear me over here on the YouTube and Facebook side. I greatly appreciate you. And to our um, Vipo over there on Instagram, also thank you for viewing uh, the polls that we have over here. Wait a minute, where the poll at? Oh, I didn't do the poll the right way. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who's liked it. The polls that we'll be doing throughout the evening are unfortunately only available on the YouTube side. So if you want to have full participation and engaging with us this evening, YouTube would be the best way to do that. If you're unable to do that, just please feel free to uh, chat in your um, comment, your answers to any of the polls on um, in the comment section of the uh, platform that you are on. And also don't forget, I uh, didn't have you repeated uh, as our opening uh, statement, but please don't forget that we are also on our road to 50,000 subscribers over here on the YouTube side, 10,000 over there on Facebook and whatever y'all give me over there on Instagram. It's greatly appreciated in advance. So please hit that like button, share this video, and um, keep spreading the word, y'all. It's happening. There's some things happening, y'all. There's some things happening. And I'm very grateful that, um, you know, we, we've we've stuck with it. And we've done a wonderful job uh, coming back uh, through this and doing this series for the past. I don't know how long we've been doing it. Was it a month or two? I don't even know. Feels like forever. <laughs> but we've been covering this for two. Is it three years yet? Three years. It'll be three years in June or something. Three whole years we've been covering this on and off. You know, I take a few months off here, a few months off there. But overall, it's been three years. Um, so tonight, what we have in store is um, we're talking about um, Darius Crooks and his minions getting to the money. Everybody mad. And um, we're starting with um, we're going we're gonna to give an update on Corey Brim, a.k.a. which y'all call the drunk bar, uh, drunk 
bartender. Uh, then we'll uh, also be giving an update on Jeremy as well. Um, and then we're going to talk, uh, we're going to revisit uh, Tommy Ford, Tommy Ford, who is uh, Darius Crook's latest uh, victim and um, AKA business partner out there in Bali. Um, we're, we're still, I, I had a conversation last night that was really enlightening um, about some, some things about Tommy. And so, uh, and and uh, very helpful in me finding some things that I didn't see the first time I went through the social media. So we're going to look at some of that stuff. And then we just, you know, right now the jewelry's still out. But it's looking like mo what most of y'all are saying. Like, yeah. Anyway, so we'll get to that. Then um, for the second half of the show, I'm going to do, um, we're we going we to take a look at Darius Crooks. Now, I got a little surprise for y'all. But we're going to take a look at Darius Crooks. <clears throat> And um, the unfortunate part is um, I did not have the bandwidth, meaning time, uh, to go through all of these videos, like, because he's he's going live like three, four times a day. I got like all the live streams. The problem is um, I got to be able to go through them and edit and chop it up and all that. And we don't have two or three hours to be sitting here watching the whole video. So we don't jump around. I'm going to throw them up there. Um, I heard things. But because I record and then later go back to it, I don't know which video it was in. I don't know what day. I don't know what uh, where it's at. But Darius Crooks had a racist rant. Uh, another one. <laughs> another one. It wasn't the first one. We may or may not find that tonight. If we do not find it tonight, uh, I got a couple days. To, um, but technically, I got three three days to be able to find it because uh, we'll be back live with our Surviving Darius Crooks uh, series, evening series on Tuesday of next week. On Monday evening, we should be back, but we'll be back with other kinds of content, some other topics. Um, and then um, the other thing is Darius Crooks has, um, <laughs> the multimillionaire ha has been talking about getting grants to go to school, to pay for schooling. <laughs> A multimillionaire trying to get money to go to school. Again, I'll see if we can find it. I'm not sure. But that was from today. So maybe I'll be able to find that one. Uh, wasn't that this afternoon? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's just it's a lot. Um, and then some of you know, I, I had some people in my inbox and in my DMs saying, Vel, did you see Vel? Vel, he released the menu for that um, the, Never, the Neverland restaurant that ain't going to open, Hip Hop Soul. And um, so we're going to look at that. And then uh, just a little fun with, um, uh, I had someone who Darius Crooks tried to date and they sent me a message. So we just gonna look at it. We just gonna, we gonna look at what they sent me. <laughs> we gonna, gonna look at what they sent me. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, this is gonna be a good show tonight. It's gonna be a good show. I'm tired as hell for this. Uh, it's gonna be a good show tonight. So um, speaking of our first segment, which is, uh, Jeremy, I keep on calling him Jerome again because I haven't said his name as much as I, I was. Jeremy, because I'm reading it here on the screen, it's, it's, it makes you want to say Jerome. <laughs> Jeremy's, um, the last time we saw him, uh, he was sad. He was best friendless. He um, was recovering from ghosting social media for uh, some stint of time because uh, y'all had basically um, harassed him. Y'all gave him too much of a taste of his own medicine and he was going through it. He couldn't take it. So he got off social media and we hadn't heard much from him except for he ended up doing like a little sad, um, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but almost like a little spoken word video. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was, it was a, uh, the sad music playing in the background, a deep thought, um, a deep thought kind of video. And he was saying, um, I don't want to thank you guys for supporting me. This has been the darkest period of my life. He got the music dun, 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 playing in the background. And he's, um, and uh, I've been concentrating on myself and I'm glad that uh, I have been able to uh, grow to where I have now become and moving forward, I'm going to live my best life. 
And I thank you guys for the love. I thank you for your words of encouragement. They really lifted me up. And, and you got the music. Dong, 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 ding, 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 ding. And you got the violins playing in the background. So anyway, he did that and he was making a cake. Well, he was, <laughs> it was really theatrical because the cake was already fully made. <laughs> I think he put a little, he put a little flower or bow or something on it. <laughs> So anyway, he did that video. And that was the last time we really heard from him. But I know he had been posting. Uh, he was starting a uh, cookware line and um, that, that sort of thing. So, so there has been another update from Jeremy. And Jeremy seems to be uh, having his glow up period. Um, poll question, first one of the night. Do you believe that Jeremy has sold $100,000 in products in seven days? Now, uh, here's the video. I forgot I got a screenshot of this one. Here's the video of Jeremy sharing his amazing news with us. Oh, am I in, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, good. Uh, let me switch. Audio devices. I know it's playing because I heard it. Wait, did I do screen share? No, no, I pulled it. Okay, that's why it's not playing. Or can y'all hear that? I don't know what the hell's happened to this thing. Because I used to be able to pull these videos in with no problem. Let me switch the audio. So I don't hear it at all. Okay, let me take this out because I did it the wrong way. I was trying to screen share it. Remove from studio. Screen share. Okay, y'all couldn't hear it. Okay, thank you. Uh, who is that? Betty C. Thank you, Betty C. Uh, window. Oh, I got so much open. Oh, I gotta pull it out first. Bear with me. Bear with me. I didn't have time to edit <clears throat> edit any of these, and so they they just I had to have a bunch of of them open on the went on the screen. It's a whole thing, y'all. Get too technical. Anyway, here we go. Now y'all will be able to hear this. Let me know if the volume is too low or anything like that. Let me let me get back to the right audio source. Oh, I was on the wrong one. Get back there. Then we're gonna remove that. All right, here is Jeremy sharing his amazing news with us. Oh, why'd I do that? Oh, I gotta play from over here. What's up, guys? It's Casey. Um, I never, ever, ever, ever thought that I would be making a video to say what I'm about to say. Y'all hear that music? It's still the same music. I feel like it's the same exact music he had playing in the other video. <laughs> Jeremy, you got to diversify. And the music does not match the mood. It should be a little bit more up-tempo. Your beat, beats per minute was way too low for this. I would say you should have had it at least probably 90 beats per minute or higher. Find tracks like that. For, for good news, when you're doing your your your, your sad, you know, woe is me um, post, then you bring it down to like around 60 beats per minute. Uh, in my 17 year uh, career in this industry, um, I probably never would have dreamed this uh, seriously. But he staged this perfectly. Y'all see that cake done in the back, iced beautifully, the bunt cake. He uh, he doing that social media thing. Uh-huh. Um we have officially hit a hundred K in sales in eleven days. The month is not even over yet. And I don't even know how to put into words what this feels like, but I can only thank God. And I thank y'all for supporting me. Uh, I appreciate uh, the love that y'all have for me. And I appreciate y'all just so much for continuing to allow me to pour into you. And eat. man, I love y'all. Thank y'all. Wow, y'all. Wow. Um, this part, <laughs> this part, immediately I chuckled because this reminded me of Darius Crooks, y'all. This instantly, just now in this moment, well, I, I will say 
when I first pulled the clip, I was actually like, oh, that's good. He got his glow up going on, blah, 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 this and that. And after, you know, Miss Sassy's crooks, Miss Scam Yance tried to destroy this man and say he's a horrible businessman, blah, blah, blah. And he got all this, this success happening right after because he started a um, he started his product line and he's selling uh, cake mixers uh, like uh, um what do they call it? The stand, the cake stand mixer thing. Y'all know, somebody know. Uh, but like the KitchenAid thing. So he's got it, and he got it in the background. See how it's strategically placed? You see it, and it has his name on it. It says Cake King. So he has his own signature line of cake mixers from Alibaba, probably, I'm sure. Um, but they got his name on it. It's a beautiful thing. I ain't hating on them. Stand mixer. Thank you, Shanice. A stand mixer. Um, so anyway. So my first reaction was, oh, that's nice. You know, last time we seen him, he, oh, that ain't right. Last time we seen him, he looking all sad and stuff. And, and then we got this. And then as I was pulling the video, pulling all this stuff together so we, so we can be here right now in this moment, I was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> Vail, wake up. You, you, you sit there acting like a flying monkey, just believing everything that's in your face. And I was like, wait a minute. He did learn Darius Crook's tricks and stunts, social media tricks and stunts, while they were associates during the Three three um, Kings fiasco. And then all of a sudden, I just kind of revisited it in my mind, and I said, that was Darius Crook's vibes all through it. So then it started making me wonder, uh, is this marketing? Because if he does that, then it's, Oh my God, I'm so happy for him. Oh, I'm going to order me a mixer from him. Oh, I want to see him succeed. This is the same tricks that Darius Crooks has been pulling. Same tricks. And I'm not sure. Was he doing these sort of things prior to the Three Queens fiasco? Uh, those of you who watch him and follow him, have been following him for a while. Was he coming on and saying, Look how much I made, y'all. Like, was he doing that? Was he doing that prior? I got 29 orders today. Was he doing that? Or is this new? Because if this is new, he's taking a page out of Darius Crook's scam, scam book. Scam playbook. Sandy is saying no. Thank you, Sandy. Sandy is saying no. Nah, I, I know. And he, Corey Petrie is saying no. Okay. These are people who obviously... um. Donna saying Jeremy is talented. I guess I can click over to it's hard for when I'm running through my notes to click back and forth through the comments to display them. So that's why I wait till I get to a certain point in the show. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Jeremy is talented, but low key scandalous. I'm, I've been hearing y'all. Y'all saying, damn, all y'all saying no. Oh, well, Jacqueline uh, is saying it's not new. Jacqueline, you got a lot of people um, disagreeing with you, sweetheart. You the only one so far that said that it's not new. And I'm talking about within since the Three Kings. Was he doing it before the Three Kings thing existed? Three Kings started, they started talking about that. It was late last year. What in October, summer last year? I can't remember exactly, but it was or or late at the end of summer of last year, maybe, that they started talking about the Three Kings tour. So was he doing it prior to last summer? Let's just do it that way. So that could be the, the misunderstanding uh, if there is one. But everybody's saying nope, uh, uh, Jacqueline. Everybody's saying nope. It is giving amateur because for one, he ain't picked the right music. <laughs> music is, is, is key. And when you're trying to get people to emote and you're putting out visuals and stuff, it's, it's, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. Sometimes I'm watching videos, and people have that music all loud over their voice or the, the tempo too fast and they doing something supposed to be emotional and sad. And it's like, slow that tempo down. I can't, I can't get emoted. <laughs> I can't catch up to you. My emotions trying to run. <laughs> that it ain't how it work. But anyway, so that is um Jeremy. But what, <laughs> what shocked me is that uh this poll question: do you believe that Jeremy has sold a hundred thousand uh dollars in products in seven days? 78% of you say, no, you don't believe it. I'm shocked. I really thought it would be maybe 78% believing he did and maybe 22 believing that he didn't. It's, so a lot of y'all don't trust what he say. I don't follow him, so I don't know. But y'all y'all know something, obviously. Something I don't know. Interesting. 
So then we move on over to um, uh, Corey, a.k.a. Mini Me, Mini Crooks, uh, Chronicles. Um, poll question coming out for Corey. I'm put the question. I'm put the poll question out for. I put this image, but some of y'all just saw it because I slipped up, pressed it by mistake. Corey, mini me, crooks. Corey has some posts that he has um, put up since we um, last spoke of him, and uh, yeah, he's been at his normal shenanigans. Oh Jesus. I forgot I will have to read these. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my voice going to need to recover. So, uh, Corey posted this. Oh, that's why I, I put that poll question, too. Did I read it? I don't know if I read it. Is Corey mim mimicking Darius Crooks' grift? What's Co so, for those of you, again, like Jeremy, for those of you who followed Corey prior to the Three Kings, Three Queens fiasco. Was he doing these sort of posts before? I have not gone back to research to figure it out. I don't care that much. But was he doing these kind of posts prior to him becoming cool with Darius Crooks? Because this is Darius Crooks vibes. At least he ain't got no rusty taco meat chest and, and uh, flabby uh, man boots. But <laughs> Madam X says, not topless. I just cannot. Right. It's extra. It's definitely extra. Right. Uh, I see uh, Janine. Janae just said the same thing. Um, or Jenny, I think it is, uh, just said the same thing. At least he doesn't have taco meat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Renee S says, drunk old man thirst traps. <laughs> so Corey has been, Corey's being Corey. So he posts this. And he says, <clears throat> Jesus, oh, one more. You just got a couple more hours, Vail. You'll be through it. <clears throat> Ladies, when I wake up next to your mama, auntie, or grandmama, just remember, Corey, I gave y'all a chance. 2024. Hashtag Mr. Corey. Hashtag it's too late now. She just doing stuff for clicks and views. I am going to call her a she because she's doing the stunts and tricks. That's what we call it in the gay world. When you're just doing antics, stunts, and tricks, it's just she doing it. <laughs> and there's no insult to women. It's just a, it's just a gay thing. <laughs> Who said <laughs> not cleavage? <laughs> ah. So then we move on. Corey's, Corey. Oh, my God, Corey. <laughs> Corey actually has gotten to the point where he could actually get a whole episode is what I've realized. I'm we're not there yet. I don't I don't care to do that yet. I'm not saying I never will because it may it may warrant it one day. But he's definitely giving me enough just on the little stuff I'm seeing here or there. And I'm like, everything is really almost like a rabbit hole. And I'm like, oh, we oh, this is this is like Darius Crooks. Uh, the only thing I don't have confirmation of is like scamming. And I hope it's not it's not the case. However. Uh, I've heard things about him being involved with uh, credit repair uh, earlier on. So uh, <laughs> credit repair, scamming, and kind of go hand in hand. So anyway, um, next segment with um, the Corey Brim Chronicles is when faking it till you make it goes wrong. We know that Corey... Um, was involved in the Three Kings. And just because I didn't have a bandwidth, I really wanted to produce this because uh, I wanted to align all the clips because we literally have clips. So some of y'all going to know the stuff I'm saying. Y'all will be able to reference in your mind. Like, oh, yeah, Vail, we was there. That's, yep, we watched that. Yep, we watched this. And y'all know I like to do the vision show. I just didn't have the time to pull it all together today. So we're going to have to, you know, use our, our memories for this. And those of you who don't know, you just got to trust what we're saying around here. So when the Three Kings uh, Q&A fiasco happened, one of the things that Darius Crooks was saying is that um, one of the reasons why he picked 
uh, both Jeremy and Corey as his uh, other two queens is because of the fact that neither of them needed money. Neither of them were desperate for money. And so he needed people who didn't care about the money and it wasn't about the money for them. Do y'all remember that? Please put, okay, let me do this. Uh, I'm gonna close out this poll. Uh, poll is uh, that we're closing out over here on the YouTube side. Is Corey mimicking Darius Crook's grift? 92% of you say yes. 8% of you say no. If you're part of the 8%, just let me know why you don't think so. And I know we have some Corey friends. I'm I, Again, I don't have issues with Corey. Um, I have one eyebrow raised, like, <laughs> what's, what's going on over there? But I don't have any, any issues with him. Um, do you remember Crooks and Corey talking about how rich I'm trying to think of the question as I'm typing <laughs> rich Corey is I guess doing this on the fly do you remember uh, Crooks and Corey talking about how rich Corey is do you remember a multitude of times of them bragging about how wealthy they are, how they get to live the life they want to live, et cetera. Now, we know Darius Crooks brags. We That's a whole nother. We're not talking about Darius Crooks. We're talking about Corey, where they were, and even Corey's post, his brother husband post, talking about, oh, I got an 800 credit score and I got money. We should get a house together and we'll live. I live on one wing. You live on the other. Um, Darius Crooks in the uh, Q&A fiasco talking about he picked them because neither of them need the money, et cetera, et cetera. Do y'all remember that? 73% of y'all so far out of those of you who voted already, the majority of y'all remember that. Keep that in mind as we move forward. So Corey then posts this caption under a video that we're going to watch. Um, yeah, we're going to watch. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> Since there are no more three kings happening, I got to get out of here and hustle. At least he didn't say 2024. <laughs> Thank you, Corey, for saving my voice on that one. So, Corey, all of a sudden, what has been, uh, that was March. It's been a month. It ain't been a full month. No, it's been about a month since it actually got canceled. The, the event was supposed to be on March 15th. The, the Three Kings um, fiasco was supposed to be on March 15th in, in um, an hour outside of Chicago. It got canceled, what, two weeks before that, y'all? Maybe three? So it's been a little over a month. Just a month of you getting bills in the mail, and now you talking about you got to go hustle. Huh? I thought you was rich. I thought you was millionaire status. And now you're like, oh, since the three kings got canceled, I got to run and go get some money. And he even said, Corey said, again, I ain't had time. To, I've seen this stuff. I got these clips around. I'm like, Jesus, I just want to be able to clap it, clip it together and mash it up. We'll still do it. Just want to mash it up. Oh, lefties fried rice is in here? Who lefty fried rice? Hey, lefties, I love your, I love your fried rice. Oh, my God, I love, I love your food. <laughs> Y'all know every time I come to St. Louis, it's the first stop. I literally get off the highway, stop at Lefties, get it, and take it to the hotel. I ain't even lying to you. So uh, thank you. And thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for your review work of the Dining with Darius Crooks uh, and Di Dining with Diabetes event uh, that was unfortunately in your city uh, last year. Anyway, so Corey is on there, and he's talking about um, – and y'all tried lefties <laughs> like now. <nah. laughs> How about I was trying to think of what I wanted for dinner tonight. And unfortunately, lefties is four hours away. <laughs> four, four, yeah, four hours away from me. Oh, Jesus. I could go for some lefties. But anyway, um, Corey, you know, he, he was saying, oh, back then he was saying, wasn't it during the Q&A? I think during the Q&A, he's saying, yeah, people trying to. No, no, it was after. It was when he did his. um. It was when he did, didn't I, I played y'all another clip a week ago or something. And he was talking about how, yeah, people think um, 
uh, was saying, I need this money. And they looking up my background and uh, they were saying the reason I'm with Darius Crooks is I need this money. I'm good. I got money. I don't need this money. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all remember this? Do y'all remember it? That was two weeks. That was about two weeks ago when I showed y'all that. So now that there's no more three, uh, three queens, uh, and he's realized because in that last video I played y'all a week or so ago, he was saying, "Well, um, you know, I'm not sure if we'll have a three kings." Now he's sure because there's Crook probably won't answer. There's Crook probably ain't answering his calls or text message. So he's like, ooh, I think it's over for real, for real. <laughs> and he knows that Darius Crooks has moved on to his new grift interest, which is Tommy in Bali. And he can't compare to that. So now, you know, he'd rolled the middle of the line between Cor uh, between Darius Crooks and Jeremy. And now he's basically been left high and dry, nowhere, back in the same spot he in back to slanging drinks <laughs> and drinking them too which is fine there's nothing against being a bartender and all of that but he was claiming he didn't have to do all that and i got teams and i got this and i got that and i, I got 800 scores and i'm looking for a brotherhood because you women can't get yourself together you women's you are doing this and you women's are doing that but i love me some darius crooks <laughs> thought he was so rich Let's see. Let's see from Corey's own twisted mind. Poso, poso. Uh, okay, I gotta. I was still screen sharing. Let's see. Uh, give me a second to try to find this. Oh, I gotta pull it up over here first. I hope it's this one. Oh, good. Thank you, Jesus. Here's Corey. Here's Corey. Oh, gotta play it from over here. Come on, thing, play it. What's happening? Do I have too many quick videos? Hey, what's going on? Social media family. Corey Brimble sugar and more, and I am in DC, Washington, DC. Let me share something with you real quick. I know I'm just, I know that there's a delay, and I don't know how good my signal is up here. I'm on a rooftop in Washington, DC, back from Florida. And um the three kids tour is not gonna happen. And I was counting on that money, man. <laughs> the Three Kings tour ain't gonna happen. He Corey's so slow, he just <laughs> he just learned what we've known for a, over a month. <laughs> Corey, we had put that series to rest. You just catching up. You got us going back. We got too much to cover. We can't keep going back to stuff because you slow. You just learn. You should be watching my content. You would have been known. I could have told you that uh 24 hours before it actually got canceled. I told you it was getting canceled. This was a hard head, make a soft, make a broke man. <laughs> hard head, make a broke 50 year old. <laughs> well, some of y'all be saying, poor Tink Tink. <laughs> poor Tink Tink. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I was counting on that money, man. <laughs> Seriously, like, that was, we were going to generate millions of dollars, which in turn would have mean I would have made, in my best estimates, a couple hundred thousand dollars. Right? After expenses and all that other stuff. So, what that means is, I gotta get my foot out of here and grind and hustle. Like, I can't just be sitting around waiting for the next thing. So, right now, I'm um, I'm back out on the grind, man. I gotta get back out in these streets. I gotta get I gotta get back into these events. I have to jump up here and start bartending again. It was cool being the CEO of a company and sitting back and getting ready to want to do everything, but because I'm not making that income. I'm not going to make that income. I wanted that money. That was my money. So what I'm doing now is we're doing a rooftop event. I'm going to take you outside and show you what we're doing. First, I'm going to show you the scenery. So where we are. So we're on the rooftop of Washington, D.C. That is the Longwood. Of course, you clearly see that. And I got Jared and Jessica out here with us. And uh, starting already. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Every time you come around, bottles get popped. <laughs> so we're doing a uh, rooftop um, corporate event, and um, yeah, I gotta get back out. I gotta get back out here and hustle, man. Um, the tour's not happening. 
we were going to do, the tour would have been 15 cities, and we were doing 300 to 400 people per city. So what that meant was that was $1.5 million that would have gotten generated through the tour. And on top of it, <laughs> it's taking him a month to realize that money gone. <laughs> oh, po tink tink. It's literally like it's a delayed response. It's like delayed grief. <laughs> Some of us have been through it. Some of us have been through delayed grief. He's like, it's like, oh my God, it is over. <laughs> oh my God, it is gone. I did lose my job. Oh my God. <laughs> he he realized that when them bills start rolling in, he's like, oh my God, I ain't gonna be able to pay that no more. <laughs> This business owner who has a team has to now go out there and slang drinks himself, which also tells me uh, he probably didn't um, reduce the size of that team so that he can because he needs to now fill that position. Save that money. The math thing, math and Corey. Uh, some of us around here actually have experience in business, and we know if you're able to run or have to go from being a casual, casual social media influencer and and traveling and just chilling. Now all of a sudden you got to go on the job sites and actually be a bartender when you got a whole staff. That means something going on financially. But okay, that ain't no. I just want to make money. So I could travel. That's a little different. That's a little different because you would still, as an entrepreneur, still stay in your space, in your lane and figure out a way to create, generate more business. You wouldn't then just start going slinging the drinks. You'd be like, let me start making new connections with other businesses, et cetera, et cetera, because that's what the CEOs do. The CEOs. You ain't see Ray Crocs after he got uh, the whole uh, McDonald's business model solidified. You didn't see Ray Crocs going to the McDonald's taking our orders. Well, I wasn't born. Y'all know what I'm saying. He wasn't taking orders. He was making new connections. He was making those real estate deals because McDonald's is really a real estate company. If y'all didn't know that. That's what he was up to. Doing CEO things. You getting back behind the bar. That's broke man move. See more of us coming to the event, more of me, us. It's gonna be me coming to the event. You know, I'm rocking out. Then uh, the other bus. I don't know. Oh, sorry, you watch it. Y'all here? And then another thing that we're gonna do is uh, let me turn this around so you can see. We're gonna start up in our bar game. Up our bar game. We just picked these up. This part, uh, hair care journey said, if you got to keep saying you're rich, chances are you are not. You don't hear um, uh, Jay-Z talking about how much money he got constantly. Like once he grew out of the, you know, immature, uh, you know, the, the young rap game. A billionaire now. You don't hear him walk around. I'm a billionaire. Remember, y'all, I'm a billionaire. Sorry. Ooh. 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 So, as I was saying before, because the Three Kings tour is not happening, and I'm. Yes, he was. Uh, Misty Blue says he was showing his credit cards, right? Yes, he was showing his credit cards. And now, a month after the event has been canceled, them bills started coming in, them statements. 
And he like, oh, ish, time to pay these credit cards. <laughs> he like, oh, I got to go back out there to slinging drinks. And he's repeating what he said, which this man going through it. You, I see worry on his face. I don't know if I'm the only one. I'm an empath, y'all. Three kids tour is not happening. I was counting on that money. I was listen. I needed that. <laughs> I needed that money. I needed that. I needed that money. Didn't Darius Crooks say he chose them because they didn't need the money? Didn't he say he chose them because they are rich and successful, and he didn't want to be bothered with nobody who need the money? He didn't want to be bothered with us broke bitches. <laughs> you know, all us broke. Meanwhile, some of us actually have a million dollars worth of wealth. <laughs> we just don't run around talking about it. I could cash it out and run around and get 50 credit cards like Corey. <laughs> but I'm smarter than that. Then uh, the, the conflict I'm saying, I don't know if I missed it here yet or not, but he says he needs it. He said that a few times now, but then he says it's because he want to travel. That ain't the same. You don't say I need it when you want to just travel. You say I want it. Yeah, I really wanted that money. Man, I was really looking forward to being able to use that to die to die. You don't be like, man, I really need it. Man, now that that opportunity gone, man, because I needed that. I need that. I need to figure out how to replace that because I, I, I had plans. I needed that. You don't say that about money you was going to trick off. It would be my funny money. So I was going to be falling out, acting crazy, super stuff. Uh-uh. Nah, Corey, nah. Repeat this, buddy. Yeah, I was counting on that money. I was, listen, I needed that. <laughs> I needed that money. That was going to be my fun money. So I was going to be falling out, acting crazy, super stuff, taking a lot of vacations with that three kids tour money. And getting out meeting with you guys and, you know, hugging all of them and having fun. But because that's not happening, me being an entrepreneur that I am, I have to make a shift. I have to make an adjustment. I can't just sit back and be like, oh, and, oh no, it's not going to happen. What am I going to do? I go back to where I'm good at, right? I can go back, back, to, back to square one, back to the ground. Back, back to, to hustle. school, back to school. Come on, man. Back to the ground, back to the hustle, man. So we got to get out of here. We, you know, so today, we have an event today. We have an event. Say Tuesday? Hey, that water's been on the floor. The, um, Tuesday. Uh, that means so we have an event Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that means we're going to be out here Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And the money. So let me let me sort of break this down to you. Let me break this down to you. Whenever someone works an event for me, you get paid as a bartender. So imagine I'm doing 10, 15 events a week. I provide the opportunities for bartenders to make money. I pay you as the owner of the company. But you also get tips at the event. Well, you should be getting tips. A lot of bartenders. A lot of bartenders don't get tips. We I get tips. Everywhere I go, I get I get tips. I get paid. So a lot of bartenders should be making anywhere from a hundred minimum. Now you're gonna you're gonna you're also going to um if there's bartenders watching this, or if there's people who work for me that have to watch this, they're going to say, I'm not picking on you guys, I'm not, but they're going to say things to the effect of, oh, I did those events. There ain't no real money at the events. Ladies and gentlemen, I did this for 15 years. For the last five years, I really haven't been marching. Every event that I work, I make bank. I'm not, that's not ego. I'm not whatever. I make bank because of my personality. I, my service is so good that people want to tip me. I just think that there are a lot of people out here. They're just they're just going through emotions. They're just like, hey, how are you? You can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got okay, I ain't gonna torture us that much. So I watched part. Well, this actually was a full hour live stream. I recorded twenty something minutes of it, twenty minutes of it, and um, so I kind of know what happened here because I was multitasked, but I could hear it. So what Corey then does after he's given this motivational speech about what uh, you know bartenders should do in order to become successful, et cetera, et cetera. He basically was saying, you know, you got to be nice to the people and that's how you get tips and blah, blah, blah. So then he calls himself going out here. Let me see what you're talking about here because I forgot. Same stuff, I think. Damn, that anybody who works for me, I have gotten too comfortable just chilling and I've allowed people to. 
So now he's getting ready to talk about he's getting ready to talk about his revelation that basically he's not been grinding the way he should be. These are all statements from somebody who has realized that their financial situation ain't that great. It's a one of those wake up call. I've had them. I ain't gonna say I'm not sitting here pointing uh, fingers at him like nobody uh, ain't none about it. None of us been through that. But it's the poser fake part of it that I'm pulling the wool, yanking the wool off. <laughs> Be who you are. Because weeks ago you was talking about how uh, amazing, how rich you were. In months over the past few months, how rich you were. Power couple, Darius Crooks and you, brother husband. I got all these credit cards. I got an 800 score. The women, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all, I I want a woman who's going to be able to match me where you at. Oh, I ain't none of y'all able to match me, blah, blah, blah. Now you going back to uh, slinging drinks. You about to stand on your feet and your Crocs for, for 10 to 14 hours. That's the part I'm pointing out. You just like us is what you're telling us. So now he's getting into um, his realization that he needs to go back out. <laughs> he needs to go back to work. <laughs> and, um, and this is, hey guys, this is no, this is no stab at anybody who works for me. I have gotten too comfortable just chilling. And I've allowed people to work my events and they just, they ain't bringing it. I have, I have an awesome team. Y'all see me post them all the time. But it's, I have to train people how to do it the way that I do it. Point blank, period. So my team, if you're watching this, I'm going to share this in, in our group. We're going to start training. I'm going to be like, win, 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 win. Why are you first sharing this with the public before you share it with your team, your employees? Really, they, they sound like 1099 uh, construct, contractual workers from the way he was describing everything. But that's a Darius Crooks move. You sitting there oversharing with the public before you even have a conversation with your staff. On top of that, why the hell ain't your staff already trained? You as a leader should have already had a training process implemented. Where's your SOPs, your standard operating procedures? Don't you hate, have any of y'all ever worked somewhere or been in training? Oh my God, it used to grieve in my soul. I got used to it, uh, uh, you know, over the years being a professional. But Lord, my God, it used to grieve my soul to start working a job and they didn't have a, 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 a training program in place and they just throw you out there. And then you, as you make mistakes, they they uh, correcting you. And it's like, well, if you nigga, if you told me before, I wouldn't have done that. I didn't know what to do. I thought because you told me that over there that this looked like this. So this is what I should be doing. No, you don't never do that. What would make you think you should be doing that? Well, God damn it. I ain't been trained. <laughs> I don't think like you. Oh, my God, they used to irk me. That, that sounds like the kind of managing that Corey does. Now he's talking about he's going to train his people. Negro. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me go in. Let me stop. Let me slow down. But it's, I have to train people how to do it the way that I do it. It was your business. You should have did that when you hired the first person. <laughs> now I got to train people how to run my business like I do it. So you got what? Four, five iterations of your business out there where each bartender, each event is a little different based on how they want to run it. <laughs> Girl. Oh, oh, poor Tink Tink. Point. He's slow to the party even with his own business. Let me stop. Let me stop. Corey ain't did nothing to me. Bell, Corey ain't did nothing to you. Slow down. Let's move on. <laughs> period. So, my team, if you're watching this, I'm going to share this in, in our group. We're going to start training. I know you're like, win, 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 win. We're going to start training. Whether I do it. He says, I know. <laughs> Let me back it up. I'm trying, y'all. I got to balance it because he's not crooks. I got to, I don't like to. Because I could be, I could be a troll. I could be, I could be a, a mean, a mean person. So, I don't want to do that to Corey. And, but he's saying that his employees, would say or will be saying yeah but when but when but when that means that's not the first time they had that conversation that means that they have pulled him aside when he corrected them after infractions after they make a mistake and he's correcting as they go they like well could you just train us on this in the beginning 
yeah, I'm gonna get around to that. We got somebody, you know what? We're gonna probably we're gonna do that in a couple of weeks. That's a good idea. Three years later, they still ain't had no form of trading. So that's why he like, I know y'all gonna say win, win, win. He wouldn't say that if this was the first time that was a conversation. Y'all know I'll be listening with my third ear. Y'all know I'll be listening with my third ear. But it's, I have to train people how to do it the way that I do it. Point blank, period. So my team, if you're watching this, I'm going to share this in, in our group. We're going to start training. I know you're like, win, 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 win. We're going to start training. Whether I do it once a week at the warehouse, we're going to start training. You have to learn how I'm doing it. I'm not afraid to show you. I'm not, I'm not thinking that, you know, oh my God, they're going to rob and steal my ideas. Why hasn't it been shared though? Why is it? Why are you having this conversation online with thousands of people who don't work for you? <laughs> oh my God, let's move past this. We got too much more to cover. So then he goes out. What the hell are you doing laying back? Let me see. I, I wasn't watching. I was kind of listening. We generate more money doing these events. And here's the thing about these. You see me, you see me sitting over here chilling, talking about laying back? Couldn't <laughs> do that before. We couldn't do that. My client would string me up if they saw me chilling. But we make more money in these corporate events. And the corporate events, this event's going to be wild. This event is gonna be okay, so then he goes outside. He ends up next to his team. He's uh, here is this some corporate event. Uh, the people are starting to ask to be served. He's now showing off for the camera, showing his bartenders how you serve the people, uh, service the people. Uh, let me see. It's it's some cool. It's some good parties in here, but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them. But we'll see. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, this is good. This is this part I was looking for. So now he out here. He trying to he trying to flex for the for the Facebook. <laughs> and he like, yeah, let me go out here because he done that whole spill. The part we skipped over. He done that whole spill. Yeah, see, they don't do it like I do it. So I got to go out here and, you know, I got to be around them and I got to show them how to do it. So y'all come along with me. So he bring the camera and now he next to his bartender and he's now talking mess like he's the experienced one. Watch what his bartender say. <laughs> you almost couldn't understand it, but he said, when he said, I'm a Rachel skills, he said, you got to practice, buddy. That's what you need to be teaching people. That's right here. <laughs> He's saying the bartender saying that if my boss, my boss, came over here and did what he claimed he he gonna come over here and school me, he gonna make this workstation look a mess. <laughs> Corey got told on, <laughs> and he like, but I had eighty dollars in tips, but it's gonna look a goddamn mess. <laughs> Don't y'all hate it? I know we've we've all been there. Many of us have been there. When you got a boss who just, oh, they be doing too much. And then by the time they think they making it better, but by the time they done, they've left you with chaos. And you're like, that's why I don't like your ass coming over here. Go away. I got this. You think you know everything because you've been here longer or whatever. And you can sit here and made a goddamn mess. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tornado. And we know it's true. We know it's true. So anyway, he um that was that's the bulk of it. Like we got time I, I, again. I couldn't edit it and clip it down the right way. So I, if I could have clipped it down, there was a couple other pieces. But that that y'all get the feel. Y'all get the feel. So Corey has said that uh he he really needed that three kings money, <laughs> and he just figured out what we've been talking about for a month that it ain't it ain't there no more. Oh Jesus, oh Lord. Jesus, I got two posts from Corey. 
Let me go ahead. I told y'all I was going to get y'all. I was going to put in dub work. This is part of putting in dub work. Oh, thank y'all for uh, those who've sent the uh, cash apps. I greatly appreciate you. We got Jacqueline S. Uh, we got Cynthia W. We got uh, Tim H. And we got Melissa J. Thank all of you. I really, really, really appreciate you uh, for your continued support uh, over here uh, on this platform. Um, okay, let me take a swig of water. We got two posts from Corey. We're going to get through this because we got to move on. We got too much show. Man, Jesus, this is already out. Damn, I don't want to be on here long. Okay. Thank God it's Friday. <clears throat> Some of the saddest things that I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have it up for y'all. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Some of the saddest things that I'm waking up to about Facebook specifically is there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of people on this free app that in their heart believe that I'm sort of influencer and I make crazy posts for engagement and to make money from Facebook, Facebook. It's true. That's true. <laughs> it's true. All that's true. Let me tell you something. My real seven figure business is how I make money. Facebook is therapy for me. For some people, Facebook is real life. Now that we've got that out of the way, she's. Y'all, God never ever once told me to take money from people who aren't in a position to give it. He talking about crooks, because crooks will do that. And I'm not posting for likes. This person sent me, oh, I'm sorry. This person sent me $5 for lunch or to get a drink. That moved me. I have more than enough. I have been blessed a million times over immediately. When I received the message, God said, send it back and bless them. I literally sent them $100 because that's the amount that I felt in my spirit. Imagine if we started to organize and actually help each other on these apps that on these apps that are using us every single day. If I'm going to have your attention, I'm going to give you a show. And I'm going to tell you that God is in control of my life. If you don't like the way I post my all caps, <laughs> he been watching, he been watching. <laughs> my jokes, my business, my charity, the way I walk, talk, breathe. Why are you here? Y'all know this ain't real life, right? So is he admitting that what he's doing is for show? That he's stunting queening? That's what it sounds like an admission. He said it's not real life. I mean, it, social media is not real life. I mean, but there's some people, not as many as you think, but there are some people who actually what they show you is their real life. There are many like a Darius Crooks, like a Corey Bram, from what y'all saying, maybe even a Jeremy and many, many, many others who are putting on reality shows for y'all. <laughs> and got y'all thinking it's real life. He's telling you it's not real life. So that's telling you what he's doing is fake. That's how I read it. That's how I read it. That's my comprehension of it. He signs out. Corey. Being who I needed 2024. Hashtag. I fits cool. What? I fits cool with God. Why you mad? What? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna even try. It's Corey. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try to think too hard. So then he posts. Now this is this is so Darius Crooks esque, the 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 way he moves. And I'm like, I don't know. Again, he I'm new to him. 
Yeah, uh, who is that? Hair care journey, Bill. You gonna have a headache. I feel like it. <laughs> I'm pushing through, y'all. I'm tired, tired, and I'm pushing through. And on top of that, I gotta sit and yell because of this fool talking in caps. And I gotta do the reenactment properly. I can't be cutting corners. We know how I read his stuff. I can't cheat y'all out of y'all entertainment. So I'm pushing through. So then Corey posts his um the, the message that he received. So this this is reminding me of Darius Crooks, like posting people's stuff on his you know, just as regular po uh, regular Facebook posts and stuff. This is what Darius Crooks does. This kind of stuff he does. This message is from the person. They say, hey, Corey, I don't owe you any money, but I just sent you $5 for a soda or water today. To be honest, I couldn't afford it, but I'm sowing a seed. I am catching hell right now financially, but I am constantly encouraged by your story. I keep watching your videos as encouragement and proof. I keep saying, if God did it for Corey, he's going to do it for me too. Have a great day. When I read that, I said, oh my God, it's giving me very much, uh, Corey's building his own cult <laughs> vibes. Very much so, uh, uh, um, like scammer preacher vibes. Like, you know, the, the local church taken from the pole <laughs> kind of vibes. It's sad. It's sad that people feel like they um, have to need to do these sort of things. I kind of feel sorry for that person. Oh, my God, Jesus. This is Corey replying. Ah, I forgot about this. <sighs> so Corey then replies. Hold on. Let me make sure I got this right. I don't know. It looked like he cut something out. I think he cut something out. He cut something out. Yeah, he cut he cut part of his message out. So it jumps to this. And the top portion you see, it says, no way, don't make me cry. So he said something. He obviously said, well, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to give you uh, money, $100 or whatever. So um, <clears throat> Corey then replies please don't send me money especially if you are not in a position to i am not going i'm sorry not it's so hard <laughs> i am not going to speak for god i will tell you what's in my heart god delivered me save me and at no point has god ever told me to take advantage of those in need. I didn't send $100 for my ego. I felt that God told him to send it as soon as you sent me that message. You bless me by sowing a seed in to me. Allow God to reap your blessings. I pray that things turn around for you and your victory is swift. God bless. Thank you for inspiring me today. So that was Corey's response. And then the person then responded and said, you have no idea what you just did. May God bless you real good. I know this was a God thing on both sides. May God blow the doors off of all your endeavors. I mean, it's sweet. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't have posted it. I would have done the same thing, honestly. I would have done the same thing, but I wouldn't have posted it. But I don't know. I'm just different. So then that makes me feel like it ain't quite authentic, but eh. At least the person got blessed with $100. Hopefully. Hopefully he ain't pulling the Darius Crooks and then <laughs> actually sent a fake screenshot of a cash app that was sent to somebody else. Ain't no teller. Ain't no teller. I doubt he did that, but Darius Crooks would. Last one. Jesus, Corey. <clears throat> Corey Brim. I don't even know what this is about. It literally has to be a full-time job at this point at the links that people, that these people go to I don't know how they have the time. Imagine if they got together to stop hunger or clothes are less fortunate. 
And don't come in here saying, how do you know they don't? Because they spend every waking hour concerned on whether Darius blinked or not. The saddest part is they really wish death on this man. That's an evil. That's an evil. That's not natural. That man all. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> that man all the way. Oh, I'm sorry. That man all the way in Bali. Let him enjoy some collard greens and a damn drink. Sheesh. So Corey's upset because y'all got me still covering his brother husband and he think they ain't got no life. Why they doing that to my brother husband? They report whether he blink or not. Yeah. What? So what? <laughs> it's, it is a job. <laughs> you say act like it's a full time job. It is a goddamn full time job. That's why I tell the people that I need to uh, move it down to two days a week until his next fiasco. I need to rest up a little bit and get some other stuff done because it is a full time job. It ain't my fault she scammed so much that it's a full time job. Look at her. Don't look at me or us because <laughs> it ain't just about me. Uh, then uh, Ansonette Coleman says, Thanks, y'all. He got flying monkeys too. And you most of them come from Darius Crook. So then we have uh, 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 Thomas Ford. Time for it. Oh, let me close out this poll as we move on. Do you remember Crooks and Corey talking about how rich Corey is? 53% of you said yes. 47% of y'all probably didn't watch it. <laughs> it was said. It was said a multitude of times. I've read many posts. Many, many, many posts. And there's some video footage, etc. 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 Next poll question is, do you think that Tommy is a hustler? Is Tommy a, hus a, Tommy a hustler from way back? Is he a grifter? So uh, the footage we have is, um, it's basically a montage of, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, on Instagram, they have an area called highlights where people put like little, what are they like? I don't know. A uh, few second clips, and they just clip them together. They call highlights. So Tommy has his highlights, and in it, it has his friends, it has his work life, it has his cooking stuff, uh, his cooking classes. It even has his other job of DJing and music and all of that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing I don't recall seeing on here is um, was the glass making. I don't think, but we're just gonna look at this. And what I want y'all to tell me in the end, I'm going to put a poll up in a minute. Um, I'm going to go and close this one out already. Uh, do you think that Tommy is a hustler? Not dang. <laughs> y'all ain't giving Tommy no grace. <laughs> y'all like, Vail, come on. You take it too long to, uh, to really get what's happening here. I do get it, y'all. I get it. But I think I keep trying to give Tommy the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Again, I need some solid proof and I ain't got I ain't got the solid proof. I just got a lot of uh common sense as I look at this stuff, but I, you know, and a lot of gut feelings. But anyway, um do you think that Tommy is a hustler? Is is going down a little bit now. It's uh, it's 88% of y'all think that he, he is a hustler. Next poll question coming in here and then we're going to watch the video while y'all vote. Oh no. Wait. Oh yeah, here we go. This is one I want first. Do you think that Tommy is setting crooks up, Darius Crooks, up for the long con? Do you think that this is the long con? Here's Tommy's video. Well, it's buffering. I screen share if it don't. Come on, thing. Come on. Break the rice. Break it. Break the rice. Right there.
<laughs> so this is Tommy in his cooking class. You see that Tommy is very charismatic. Tommy is used to being around people of different cultures. Tommy knows how to work the people to get what Tommy need. Tommy knows how to finesse the people to get them larger tips. This is him again. This is oh, sorry, they got he got music playing and quite a bit of stuff. So that's another reason why we're muting. He's giving instructions. We ain't gonna listen to that one. We ain't we ain't gonna mess up like we did earlier this week. I don't think there's no music on that. Oh, there's music on that one too. Oh well. <laughs> So again, he's instructing his class. And I think this is a different class. That's a different place too, it look like. So it look like he travels a little bit with these cooking classes. And Tommy, <clears throat> I'm starting to think Tommy is uh, uh, Belizean and Jamaican. Because <laughs> Tommy, got, Tommy got a lot of jobs. <laughs> Tommy got a hell of a hell of a lot of jobs. He also has a song. I forgot exactly where. Okay, this one. He actually has, so I know uh, we had the conversation, and I'll I'll be able to edit this stuff together, but we had the conversation uh, about Darius Crooks giving uh, uh giving Tommy a pass, telling him that basically he'll earn his way into being able to use the n-word that was last sunday last uh when they did the sunday uh cooking so um come to find out that tommy's already comfortable with the n-word i don't know how many of us will be um <laughs> be um surprised by that but tommy uh has uh, a song i just can't remember which clip but he has a song on here uh playing with one of his videos where the n-word is throughout the song and he didn't feel no ways tired about trying to put it on here. Also, remember, uh, Tommy don't drink. <laughs> Tommy don't drink, but yet here's an, uh, 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 what, what, what's that? Tommy not only does he drink, but Tommy double fist. <laughs> he got a drink in both hands. But Tommy don't drink. Nah, <laughs> he drinking with two hands. <laughs> ah. Things don't be adding up when it comes to Tommy. Oh, there's music there too. So again, his cooking class is almost over. Then we move to the next section. I mean, he looks like he's good at what he does. He looks like he's actually look at wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's him. Oh, wait, I don't think that's him. Tommy double fisting again, y'all. I didn't catch that. I thought it was the same clip that I remember. <laughs> oh, we can't have that music playing. He's grinding something. Right. The first, uh, Sherry Nichols is saying, Nic Nicole rather, is saying that, uh, the first drink was uh, yellow, and that second one was blue. So he was double fisting it, and he had beer in both. Anything, anything yellow. Oh. So uh, what I realized from these highlights is that uh, Tommy is a beat boxer. Uh, he has uh, been doing that for quite a while. Um, and uh looks like he enjoys rap. Okay. Uh yo. Uh I'm with Tommy in Bali. He my homie. Hey. Trump, Trump, None of us are sorry. Hey. Hey. Gotta get my Nutella. Yeah. My girlfriend is Annabella. Hey. Oh, I meant to uh, mute and not pause it. This is Tommy at the club. Tommy is a man around town is what I gathered from watching all of these. Darius Crook says that Tommy knows everybody. That's because Tommy always partying. Tommy goes every... Who the heck keep texting me? <laughs> we got to mute my phone. <laughs> Tommy keep partying around the town. Um, 
And that's how he knows everybody. That's how he knows everybody. Oh, Tommy's also a DJ. I don't know if I mentioned that. Tommy goes to the clubs and he DJs. So he's a, uh, this, this sounds like a straight up hustler for real. Uh, Tommy. Oh, oh, oh. And he's a rapper. I don't know if, how much I'm gonna be able to play with y'all could actually hear it because of the you know copyright stuff, but let's let's I'm gonna get y'all get y'all a little bit of it. Or maybe I'll just stop and go. I know I do. Okay, I ain't taking no chances with that. But that's him rapping. Just pay attention, look at the visuals. Yeah, you go to his uh Instagram if you want to actually see it, uh with the with the volume, with the audio. Uh AR is saying, is he 38? Tommy is 26 years old. Darius Crook said that he was in his 30s. Um, uh, but uh, we got proof. I got real proof that he is only 26. His visa that I have a copy of says that he's only 26. And when you think about it and you look at his wife, she looks like they're about that age. Now, Tommy, he does, you know, he looked like he could possibly be a, a you know a good looking 38, but um his wife definitely, you would look at her and be like, she not 38. Right. Shay, Shay J say, Tommy, that's what I'm saying. He Belizean and, 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 and Jamaican. Because this boy got all kind of jobs. Again, here's him being a musician. He's a DJ. He's a musician. He's a, um, with, uh, the uh, cooking class instructor. He's a, um, what am I? oh, the glass making. And then, uh, and that's supposed to be his full time job. Um, and on top of that, he's supposed to, um, be based on what Darius Crook says, he's supposed to also be a person that helps other people open restaurants. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to take care of all my alerts. This is him at karaoke. I can let y'all hear a little bit. Y'all know that song. He everywhere. He all over the town. The question is, do you feel like Tommy is also a scammer? Or just is he a very personable person? Is he just a man around town and he just happens to be a renaissance man? I'm going to close out this poll. Do you think that Tommy is setting crooks up for the long con? 87% of y'all say yes. 13% of y'all say no. Uh, last Tommy poll question as we keep working our way through this. Oh, this y'all can hear the volume. Hold on. Let me rewind a little bit. A long time I have a big box show. All right. I know we can't play that. Let me know your thoughts. I see y'all. Who <laughs> that Southern Bell said spitting everywhere? I know the levels not cute. <laughs> the beatboxing. <laughs> uh, Queen. Oh, it went too fast. Queen and let's see what was that. Queen Ashanti says uh, he definitely a scammer. 
I mean, this man is everywhere doing everything. Poll question I just put out there is, and this is him with friends, friends. Uh, do you believe that Tommy has helped other restaurants open? Like in the way that Darius Crooks is claiming. Like he's helped build out these restaurants and open up all these successful restaurants. This is him hanging out with his friends again. <laughs> Let's stand music everywhere. Again, Tommy, Tommy don't drink. Tommy don't drink. Are we only two minutes into this thing? Tommy, don't, look at <laughs> look at <laughs> look at the trick he uses to pop the bottle tops of the beer. Tommy don't drink. <laughs> Tommy has definitely been a bartender. <laughs> I mean, not only did we see him in the video, but like, I mean, that's one of his other jobs. It just ain't listed here yet. <laughs> Miss FedEx says, I can't even do that right. I ain't never seen nobody do it. Oh, shoot. Did I mess up? Oh, no. I think it's. Okay. We're going to skip through some of this. I think. Will it? Oh, wow. I hate it. Oh, no. I messed up. Okay. Here we go. That was me. I accidentally. I was like, I know. It seemed like we was deeper into it than that. That's him with the family. That's him at the club again. That's him on a nature walk. What else we got? That's him at a game night. That's him with a, yet another drink. <laughs> Tommy don't drink. Tommy told me yesterday he don't drink. <laughs> Why Tommy lie about not drinking when he drinks like that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's enough i mean that was about the end anyway um poll question we're closing out do you believe that tommy has helped other restaurants open in bali uh 86 of you saying hell no nah, this is very obvious at this point tommy is uh like that local guy who is like oh yo plumbing uh ain't working ask tommy to do it oh yo your car won't won't start. Ask Tommy to come look at it. Oh, you need your gutters clean? Call Tommy. <laughs> you need somebody to DJ your party? Call Tommy. <laughs> oh, your your brother and cousin coming in from out of town, but you're gonna be at work when they get in town. Call Tommy. He'll go pick them up. <laughs> Y'all know. I, mean, I, I I used to have family members like that. You had that one family member that you could just get them to do anything because they just kind of, they just a jack of all trade, master of none. It's, it's one of those. <laughs> it's what I'm gathering. Last poll question related to Tommy is, uh, do you think that Tommy has said the N word? I should have said while rapping, when rapping. Um, The other thing that I did gather is, the way that Darius Crooks tries to treat Tommy as if he's just so um, Balinesian that he doesn't know nothing about nothing. And I feel like Tommy plays plays the game because Tommy seems to me, based on what I've seen, some of the stuff I, I ain't showed y'all everything I got. But what I've seen myself and plus what I've showed y'all, I feel like Tommy's more cultured than Darius Crooks. He's definitely more evolved as in general, period. Also, why, you know, Darius Crooks tries to be, you know, a wannabe um, musician and into music and all of that. Why hasn't he ever really hyped up the fact that look at what Tommy does. Tommy plays in bands and sings and <laughs> raps. <laughs> I don't recall ever seeing him ever mention anything about Tommy besides the fact that his cooking class and the, the bottle recycling. He could also be afraid that if he started mentioning all this other stuff, y'all, they going the blind monitor, they going to start to think like we do. Like, what don't Tommy do? Um, 
the other thing that to me is is a to me a red flag is looking at how much Tommy does post about his life and things that he's doing, etc. And then seeing that with this huge dream of venture that he's supposed to be involved in with this, this restaurant, that there is no mention of it. There's nothing about that on any of his social media. And somebody pointed that out the other night. And I was like, you know, that's true. Where's the post? Where's something saying big deal coming soon or something? He doing highlight reels. No mention of hip hop soul. Poll question, we're closing out. Do you think that Tommy has said the N-word when rapping or while rapping? 96% of you say absolutely freaking lutely. 4% of y'all say, nah, he just put it in the in his um in his videos and stuff. I'm like, there's a reel with the word N-word going throughout the reel. <laughs> and I'm like, who picks it? I wouldn't even pick that. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe some young person who's interested, but, but but he 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 shouldn't be picking that to go on his reels. And then acting like uh, when Darius Crook said the N-word, he's like, ooh, can I say it? <laughs> so he knows there's a problem with it. He knows culturally there's a problem with it, whether he's from Indonesia or not. Okay, um, I need to take a break on my voice. That Corey stuff wore me out. <laughs> um, take a swig of water, a quick little uh, break. And I'm gonna give you a commercial, and then I will be will be right back with um with the last half of the show. Uh, please hit that like button if you haven't. While we uh, uh, have our little commercial break, that gives y'all time. We got 403 viewing. Well, it just dropped big time. Uh, 380 over here on YouTube, but we only got 260 likes. So please hit that like button while our commercial break plays, and then I'll uh, we'll resume resume the show after this. Message from our sponsor. Turn you to a dog like a cheetah yeah. And expose to a cat like a cheetah like They smoke my partner like reef Dime lo porque o no And then you know me gente must really need Jesus They shed real blood I never seen a crypt and I believe it It's too easy Too Too easy I can do this with my eyes closed It's too easy Too It's too easy I can do this with my eyes closed Y'all just talk, don't live it And just took that route, that scene it And I'm so outspoken like reason Jimmy Neutron, boy, young jeans And I'm a self-made man 
I actually interviewed Darius uh, Cooks on my radio show. Um, I've been five or six years ago before the whole, he blew up on social media. And um, Justice was just articulate. He actually went on Periscope Live during the radio show and did his own show in the studio during the show that he was supposed to be on. But he's a narcissistic individual. And because of that, he's had many of these run-ins. I think there was a scandal a few years ago where he was doing fake credit repair for people and got sued. Um, his restaurant got closed down, those sorts of things. And so so he, main, he maintains these online scams, uh, preying on the uh, hearts and minds of his uh, his followers. And even just it was just, uh, just articulated after our show, because we, we tend to ridicule people when they uh, act up on our show. He actually went on Periscope Live to talk about me and our producer and some of the other guests after the show. So this has been going on for a long period of time. Now, legally, when somebody talks about you online, that's just talk. But once they get into this place of making threats, either of violence, threatening to uh, release personal information, well, that's where you can actually file a criminal report against this individual. And, be, and if they do release uh, improper or censored information, personal information that is privileged, um, that absolutely you can report that to the Georgia Bureau of Investigations or to the Federal Bureau of Investigations for them to look into it, particularly if you have multiple individuals who are involved in this. <laughs>
at one of the uh restaurants when he was doing the slanderous restaurant reviews i forgot what city that was now there's crooks sitting there trying to drag the young man because he was on his second day of the job and couldn't answer all of Darius crooks questions and you know wasn't sure about this wasn't sure about that the manager walked away on the guy that's not the guy's fault so long story short Darius crooks took to his insta instagram lies sitting there uh dragging the young man and, and being disparaging and the young man the different generation went on and got on there and started calling her a willy mammoth and talking about the, the swollen ankles of her flying muggers and Darius Crooks and his flying monkey started calling the business, uh, tried to get the boy fired. It worked. They let him go. And Darius Crooks then took to his YouTube, creating a video talking about this, why you don't mess with me. You don't make enough money to tussle with me, creating discount codes. Because uh, uh, Juanito had called, Vel Juanito had called him uh, queenish. So Darius Crooks created uh, T-shirts and sweatshirts saying queenish and kingish on it. And then a discount code queenish. You know, she's a, a messy stunt queen. So Vail was upset about it. He's like, this is horrible. This young man on his second day of the job. And Darius Crooks coming there with the big ass camera in the boy's face. Ain't asking no permission, this and that, and harassing him and giving him a hard time. And that wasn't good enough. He then goes and drags the young man and then harasses him online, puts his picture out, just all kind of craziness, chaos. And Juanito was keeping up with him. And Vail was like, I got a cousin that act like uh, Juanito, and they named similar. And he was like, Vail Nito, you want to come over here and handle this? Because, he, you know, he be trying to, uh, he, he got wild now, though. And y'all know, I, I, I've been in this ear. Y'all can tell. I know y'all can tell. There's a difference. He kind of trying to copy my style a little bit. I've been noticing. But it's, it's cool, Vail, because I've been wanting you to be like that since you started. So I ain't, I ain't complaining. It's in our blood. So anyway, that's where I come from. The whole Juanito situation. Because I got that same fire up in me. You ain't finna drag me and think you're going to breathe or tell about it. I'm going to drag you right back. Hence, Juanito Velnito with Kendrick Spirits. <laughs> so, um, poll question that's out there. And I'm not country, for some of y'all might be wondering who don't know about me. Is you from the country because you talk kind of country? No, I'm from the west side of Chicago. You know, we all came from the south, though. All our family and stuff. Anyway, poll question is, has Vel be exposing videos of Darius Crooks stripped the veil off of his fake public persona. Not Veil's fake public persona, because he ain't fake. Has it stripped it off of Darius Crooks' fake public public persona? 95% of y'all got good sense and said yes. 5% of y'all finger slip or oh, you're a D hagger. I know that's y'all mating call. Let let take a look. Take that down, right? Take that down. Take a look. I'm looking at myself on a screen here. Vail got me up on another screen. Share this and let's let's just take a look. And yesterday I was watching. I be in the shadows. I was watching, and Vail B took y'all. I do it. Let let let. Let's go ahead and do that. Take y'all on, on a little trip. We got time. It's Friday night. Where y'all got to go? Y'all y'all playing this. Y'all got y'all drinks and snacks. You got your drinks and snacks. You got your drinks and snacks. Put your drink and snack emojis in the chat. Let me know what you're drinking on. Pull it down. Put that up. Small one. There we go. So when you Google Darius Crooks or Cooks, Sorry, up here. As you see, now he might try to pay to get this, uh, <laughs> get to try to fix this. But when you start scrolling, because you know you can pay to get higher up on search. When you start scrolling, first thing you see is there's Crooks William Atlanta 
uh, chef and food media personality, has been accused of plagiarism and scamming and under uh, other unethical practices. It's all true. First thing to come up when you type in Darius Cooks. Great job, Coalition. Great job, everybody. We've been working on this for years. Then you got his social media stuff. That's normal. He's been doing this over a decade. He's been scamming people over a decade. You got the Reddit. You got the Lipstick Alley. You got people asking, is he a real chef? Hell nah. He a kitchen cook who happened to become a social media influencer. Ain't never had no formal trainer. Food Network and PBS was his school. He basically did an online situation. <laughs> That's why he can't really cook. That's why he be saying the wrong stuff about stuff. That's why he used the same three, four seasonings in every meal. <laughs> What's Darius Cook's real name? Darius Chavoy Williams, just in case any of y'all wonder. Uh, what are the legal issues with Darius Cook? They just knew what that wasn't there yesterday, right? <laughs> All of them questioning the legitimacy of this man. Well, scam you. Scam Yonce, Walrus, Burnt Walrus. Then you got a social media again, is a uh, shop there. Cool. You got his TikTok, you got your Facebook. Then you got his, his little videos there. Then you got the articles about him. How black women expose the celebrity, uh, chef, blah, blah, blah. Mo. Darius Williams selling plagiarized food. I mean, it's just inundated BBB wars uh, about online uh, uh, Atlanta food personality. You got uh, this picture here in the middle, uh, the burnt walrus in a suit, the same one we got down there. That's from the Fox 5. And, uh, uh, that's when he went to, to court for the fake TPO. Got the uh, viral blogger leave scathing review of black owned indie restaurant. Just nothing but negativity showing who she really is. But let's take let's take a gander at YouTube. And let's just type in Darius Cooks. See what pops up. Okay, we got her Friday night fish fry. She just did that. On there being all sassy and playing church as usual. Her tasting snacks in Tokyo. She stole that concept from a creator uh, during one of her food tours. She found out about it. Got that DM too. Then him being live. Then what happened? Our video right now live just mixed up in. We ain't type Val B, did we? Huh? Huh? Do you see Val B up here? Nope. You see Darius Cooks. Why Val B up in the mix? Scroll down some more. There's Crook's video. Oh, that go Val again. Scroll down some more. Look at that. Just mixed up in. They got the channels mixed up. <laughs> we ain't typing Val B. We just said Darius Cooks. We ain't even bother saying Darius Crooks. So you get the point. There's another one. Just all mixed up in that. Just you type in Darius Crooks. He has been inundated with content that tells the truth of who he is. So I see Vail and I have been talking about the, the comments. No, it ain't a lot. It really ain't a lot. It's just the fact that there's some people who don't get it. And it's just kind of disturbing to the mind when it's been explained multiple times. And now we're at a place where you get to see how the work is working. That they'll be doing this series wasn't by happenstance. It was by design. It's called the art of war. Now, when you Google her name, well, we, we got all the other stuff that pops in, all them articles. But now when you search YouTube, it's inundated with the videos that y'all stop talking about him so much. I'm so tired of that topic. It died really you should be, is this all your channel about? <laughs> all of that. Now we got the truth. Just scrolling up and through her feed. That's how social media work. That was all a part of the plan. Couldn't reveal it though. And the work ain't done. There's levels to this. There's levels to this. 
sit back and watch. Anyway, um, Darius Crook got a post that he put out. I don't know. What day this week? We did that. We did that. You did that. You did that. You did that. Okay. Here it is. This it. Oh, this was this was uh Jessica was uh Vail, this is this is what prompted Vail to add that in with us searching YouTube. Yeah, say I ain't used to his show notes and all that. He he know how to guide himself through all this. Says Vail, a lot of your videos come up when you search Darius Cooks. I was like, uh Vail was like, well, he already knew that and that was by design, but the fact that Jessica pointed it out, he was like, Oh yeah, let, let's point this out to the people. The Vail knew what he was doing. Why they feel you talking about him too much? Is this all your channel about? No, manipulating the algorithm. There's levels to this. So Darius Crooks, I think this happened yesterday or today or something. Somebody, somebody had uh, DM Vail and I about all this. Darius Crooks post on his social media. He says. My haters love trying to stop a bag, don't they? These people have contacted my new business partner to try to get him not to do business with me. Then, when Tommy asked for more clarify, clarifying questions, Darnell Hibbler deletes his comments. Tommy was only able to screenshot the message alert. By the time he got ready to screenshot the convo, Darnell backpedaled and pussy pop and deleted all his comments. I don't believe that. This girl will create a narrative. This girl will create a narrative. I do not believe it. I don't believe that uh, that, that she's saying that Darnell was deleting and running and blah, blah, blah. She's a make up stuff. Why, why would Darnell put the message out and then be scared? Says... <clears throat> Why don't they keep that same energy? He always act like people. Uh, he'll he'll do it. He <laughs> hell the the intro that Vail got on here. Uh, he's talking about some. Where is the randomness of Vail? We ain't heard hide no hair from him. Where's the expose? Where is the expose? He doing all that. Because Vail hadn't put out a video in two, three months. Girl, just because somebody ain't put a video out don't mean they didn't, they letting you live. Vail was putting his files together, doing other stuff, so he could do what we got here a year later. <laughs> but he loves to do that, like, because people doing other stuff, they running, like, they scared of her, like, like oh, that's because we shut them down. <laughs> Delusional ass. Why don't they keep that same energy? Anyway, the contacts are signed, contracts are signed and sealed, and the money has been transferred. <laughs> Sound like they got you to me <laughs> while you're bragging. <laughs> you should be embarrassed to say that. That you'd have transferred. But he claims a 60. What did he say? I forgot how much he did. He say it was 60,000, y'all. No, he said they wanted 60,000. He probably only gave him 5,000 on her cheap ass. Broke ass. Anyway. He'd be embarrassed to say he'd have transferred money to a group of people he had met over a, a, a two-day period. <laughs> Signed a 25-year contract. That wasn't even on his uh on his mind to even get land and uh get a place in Bali when he went there on vacation. She should be embarrassed to, to even say she that slow. Ain't nothing a soul can do to stop this train from moving. This ain't the Three Kings toots. This is hip hop so ballet. Get ready. Oh, we ready. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this journey. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for it. So then, uh, he then screenshots his phone. I think it's Tommy's phone. Tommy screenshot his phone. Tommy in on it as well. Um, We're well, going to talk about this in a minute. Because some of y'all... I understand what you're trying to do, but you're, you're kind of wasting your energy. <laughs> yeah, re, re, redo your focus. Your focus need to be about um, be, need to be 
uh, just about exposing her. Don't try to save the people who she didn't gotten cahoots with. Because before you even get in their DMs, before you even know they exist, she didn't create a narrative. She, as in Darius Crooks, then created a narrative already that, oh, if they they hate me, these some jealous people. You know, you've heard of jealous people before, right? Yeah, I got some jealous people in the States. You know, what's going to happen is they going to not, they going to want you to not be as rich as me. So, see, they be making up lies. They be saying stuff. They be, uh, they, they just, they a group that hate me. Those people, they miserable. They ain't got no lies. They ain't this and that. He done already created a narrative. Everything they said about me got proven to be false. All that. So by the time you get in there in, they, in these people's DMs, they think you crazy already. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Let them live. Let them go through it. In the end, we'll hug their neck. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, you get added to the list. So Tommy sends. Mm, <laughs> sorry, my, my, my y'all know I get my hair, my hair trimmed on, uh, get my liner and stuff on Friday, so I have loose hair. <laughs> Um, so then Darius Crooks screen, uh, that's what I want. Oh, I didn't jump too far down. Then Darius Crooks, um, shows the screenshot of supposedly what's been deleted. Cause then he say this got deleted. So how the hell you got it here? <laughs> Oh no, this is this is uh uh Tommy's uh responses. Okay, I never read it, y'all. I didn't read it. Read it. you know, Vail pull all this up. I ain't read nothing. So uh this is Tommy's responses. It says, did he tell so Tommy can write like or well, maybe he uh do the well, maybe he can write this well too. Maybe uh read and write uh Spanish. I mean English. Did he tell you that? If not, how can you assume that he have a crush on me? See, y'all, that's why I tell y'all about these assumptions. Y'all can't go out there saying stuff y'all don't have facts on. Oh, see? Oh, see, y'all not doing the art of war. I mean, we're probably going to have to do a, a class on the art of war around here. I have to add that into a series. <laughs> y'all can't go, oh, God. This is already starting around. You're starting with rumors. Assumptions. No proof that Darius Crooks actually has a crush on him. Also, do you think he spends his money here and open the restaurant just to be a scammer? Explain yourself. Now, this time he's talking to, uh, talking to uh, uh, Darnell. You're still not explaining. So he's saying Darnell ex uh, deletes. See, this is this is what this is. Yeah. So you are still not explaining yourself, says Tommy. Have you met him in person? Have you talked to him? Not everything you saw on the internet is true. He has the narrative from Darius Crooks. That's why I was a waste of your time. Keep in mind, these two people have now met, interacted, had multiple conversations for now at least, what, two months? I don't know, some month, a month or two. He thinks they're close. They both think they're closer. You just a stranger in a DM. Darius Crooks has already set the tone. This man don't, ain't even from this country. Then Tommy says, how can you just say something bad about a person and you don't even know, know in real life and not taking responsibility to explain yourself? Then he says, why you delete all your messages? Then he says the, the name. Why you block my Instagram? <laughs> oh, y'all. I know what y'all trying to do, but oh, come on, y'all. Y'all got to do the art of war. Y'all, y'all got to read that book. Y'all got to read that book. This ain't do nothing but help her with her storyline. This ain't do nothing but help with the storyline because, in fact, the messages are deleted. <laughs> it looked like somebody running in, trying to start some stir the pot and run out because they're guilty. That's what it looked like. I know that's not maybe what it was. Well, because we know, you know, Darius Crooks is a scam and all the other stuff. 
it's not worth it. Leave those people alone that he gets in bed with, with these things. Just let them be. This information is out there. But you don't have to get in their DMs because they not. He's already, he going, when he create, when he established relationships with people, he's, he already knows what comes with that territory. He's already going to be telling them, hey, watch out now. You're going to be getting people. You know, I'm famous over there in the States. They going to be after you. Cause they after me, cause they jealous, cause I'm rich, bitch. So then, uh, you got flying monkey behavior. They get in the chat, and now this ain't doing nothing but making them feel like, see, this is what they be saying about it, master. They just be trying to start something. See, they done hit they seven. They deleting messages because they were lying, 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 huh? Vail and I. Vail taught me how to do the voice. Izzy Sullivan. Love your Bible quote wallpaper. How fitting, uh, master. The problem is, Izzy, see, they, they, because they don't be cued in. That wasn't Darius Crook's wallpaper. The Bible quote was on, uh, on, uh, Tommy's phone, but they not. Bird brains. Ain't, they ain't processing. No critical thinking. That's how they end up in a cult. Gina Edwards. No one can form against us. You sound prosper, master. Then you got Angela Meyer. These all flying monkeys. It's so sad. I hope one day you can sue them like Cardi did Tasha K. Er, master. Angela Meyer. Oh, I'm not even, uh, forget it. Not even worth it. <clears throat> Tawana Williams, uh, like you said, let them hate. Let us know you're doing something right. Uh, uh, with emojis and bags of money and star eyes. Uh. Then you had... Yolanda. <clears throat> Yolanda, uh, Massa, reporting for duty. Uh, people are really weird, Master. Uh, please approve of me, Er. Uh. Then keep moving, Er. Uh. Thumbs up emoji. Strong arm emoji. Heart emoji. Love me, Master, please. Er. Uh. Y'all doing number giving them fuel. <laughs> number giving them fuel. <laughs> Then uh, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot who I was. <laughs> what I'm going to do <laughs> is um, Vail had, again, he he had an idea for the way the second half was going to go, but you know, it's kind of a little impromptu. He's tired and he's like, you know, I could, Vail, uh, Vail Nito, they've been wanting you. Maybe this is a good time for you to show up, uh, give me a little bit of a rest. And, uh, but he ain't had time to edit and get all the stuff together. That's why he needs little breaks between these shows but uh he was gonna show the racist rant we gotta see if we can find it we're gonna just browse a little bit and then crook saying that he want to uh, uh apply for a grant for school <laughs> multi-million that talk about he want to apply for a grant who does that if you're a multi-millionaire now some of the some of the flying monkeys are they gonna say <clears throat> They gonna say, "That's mine. He a business man. Why spend his money when he can spend somebody else's money?" Well, hello. He's also supposedly a very rich man who should be giving back, who we never see give back. So why would he take money from a grant? And we know, all of us adults around here, you know that, uh. Grants have caps. They have allocated money for these grants. That means they got a certain threshold, not as much as they can spend to a certain point. If this millionaire, supposed millionaire, sit there and take the money, that means somebody who need it, who ain't claiming to be no millionaire, is going to be without. 
instead of trying to get on a grant, she should be trying to sponsor somebody to get through a semester of school. And if she's so rich, she should support them through their own four years. But she's a taker, not a giver. Talk about taking a grant as a multimillionaire. You sound a fool. Just telling on yourself. Now, the other thing that Darius Crooks posted recently is the uh, menu for the uh, Violet's Hip Hop Soul, whatever she called this crap, that we ain't going to never see. <laughs> Pretty much based on what's been happening. Uh, I'm starting to think we it probably won't even break ground. <laughs> it might break ground. We'll see. Darius Crooks post just the draft. But coming in 20. 25, Bala's first authentic Southern soul food, hip-hop soul. A lot of words. A 24-hour hip eatery in Kangu with a nightly DJ dance floor bar and hookah cigar lounge. I still can't believe God is allowing me to do this 10,000 miles away from home. He is truly awesome. I love to think, throw God in there. He's talking about the God he serves is, dem, is the devil. That's a God. P.S. We are building from scratch. The land has been secured. The architects are almost done with the changes to the original plans. Next, we source the construction company and start building with no permits. <laughs> Let her tell it. She ain't got to have no permits. It should take about a year to do it right. Stay tuned. Oh, we going to stay tuned. Oh, we going to stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Now let's see this old trash-ass menu. <laughs> I ain't read it. Vel, you, yeah, I ain't read I ain't get time. I know you gave me some stuff to read. I ain't like back here about this goddamn ish. Uh, let's see what the menu uh, beholds for y'all. Let's see. It looks small. Probably should have opened up the other document, but uh, let's try to work with it. Uh -huh. Check it on the stick. The first thing it's just jerked, <laughs> and she changed. She changed the words around to try to fool y'all. Chicken jerk, chicken skewers. That's chicken on a stick with some pepper on it, <laughs> and some and some liquid smoke. She loved to cheat and use liquid smoke. <laughs> Uh, house made. I ain't finna read these goddamn ingredients now. That ain't finna do. That's too much bullshit. Creamy garlic. Wait, creamy collard green dip. What? Okay, then I'm finna read. What is this? Four cheeses, bechamel, tender collard served with crispy warm tortilla chips. Perfect for sharing. This girl, <laughs> she loves her some collard green. Her, it's, her stuff got to be runny. Her stuff got to be runny. She eat a lot of collard greens. Best of both worlds. Now that I heard before, so that's obviously over there, over over there on that uh was on that original was it Greens Gravy or one of them old trap restaurants. That's that's definitely was on that menu. Shrimp. And corn hush puppets. Shrimp and corn hush puppets. Shrimp corn hush puppets. Okay, whatever. Fried green tomatoes. You know, she she addicted to those too. That's on every single single menu. Imagine how uninventive and un, untalented you gotta be to be in a field for 20 some years and you still can't come up with a, a new idea. You're using and reusing the same uh Entrees that you've been making since you was 20 years old. What sense that make? That tells on yourself. You're telling on yourself that you're not creative. People know for a fact that you have cut and paste a menu from your uh, former defunct restaurant. Them flying monkeys though, like, ooh, man, so when is going to open? I want to book my flight now. Look, your flight, you're going to be looking crazy like y'all was for that uh, three queen, queens fiasco. You can book your flight. Make sure you got backup plans. 
Maryland crab cakes. That's probably somebody's stolen recipe. Lobster and bacon mac and cheese. Interesting. That a lot for the these uh Bali, uh Balinesian people. Oh, they stomach's gonna be jacked up. They ain't gonna be coming to this place. Creamy collard green lasagna. Ew. They was dragging him on social media for that, wasn't they? A couple years ago, he tried to go viral with that after he had copied the soul cake from Bree Miller from Bree's uh Bree's cakes. Copy from her. People uh the, the celebrities and stuff knew he wasn't the inventor of it. Then you got the all the fixings is mac and cheese. I guess you got a regular mac and cheese, I guess. Braised greens with smoked turkey. And the watermelon chow chow. You know that's got to be on the menu. That that uh, watermelon salad recipe he stole and just turned it to uh, watermelon chow chow instead. Then you got the Parmesan potato puree. Wasn't he just talking about that uh, on his live yesterday or something? Didn't he just make that? The girl. Butter pecan green beans. Butter pecan green beans. If they was healthy, they sure ain't going to be by the time she done. Skillet fried corn with bacon. Skillet fried corn with bacon. Why that thing got to be made unhealthy? Why her vegetables? She, wasn't she dragging black-owned restaurants across the U.S. talking about y'all don't have no uh, vegetables and then this girl get vegetables and then she add fat and meat to it. <laughs> oh, she's slow. <laughs> What's good for the gander is not good, good for the goose in her mind. Not surprised. By this hypocritical menu. Not not by any means. Roasted Brussels sprouts. With golden raisins and honey and hot honey vinegar. So you're going to add sugar to the, <laughs> to the Brussels sprouts. You got to make them unhealthy. Diabetic inducing ass food. She got to make it unhealthy. This she talking about all black owned restaurants and how y'all need to do better. Church lady cabbage. I don't know what that's supposed to be because she don't you see so goddamn sloppy and lazy and won't have nobody. Well, how you got the ingredients and description under some of the recipes and then others you don't when they're not self-explanatory. Then butter pecan cornbread. I heard, I heard her talk about that for about 30 years, so I know that was in one of them restaurants. Then the honey butter cornbread. Then the buttermilk biscuits with whipped honey butter. She loves some honey, don't she? Everything sounds alike. Everything sounds alike. Then uh, the main courses, fish and grits. She made that a bunch. Six-hour smoked jerk short ribs. Yeah, I know that she's going to cut that short. Lemon pepper honey fried chicken. Uh, rice and red beans and rice with smoked unduly, slow cooked beans, uh, house made smoked bacon. Look, bacon got to be in there. Bacon and red beans and rice. Don't mess up my red beans and rice with no goddamn bacon. This girl, her palate is just very unhealthy. Low country shrimp and grits. Low country uh, smoked to, uh, tomato cream sauce, sauté garlic butter, ponds, white cheddar, and mascarpone grits. Sound real unhealthy, but have at it. Then she got the uh, bacon crusted salmon over collard green risotto. I mean, part of it, I guess, is, is from a financial standpoint. She used the same ingredients in about 12 of her items. So that does kind of save her money. So from a business perspective, I understand that. But from a, a supposedly culinary genius, uh, this is a lazy-ass menu. Then she got the pork chop dinner. You get two pork chops, fried or smothered, served with two fixings and a biscuit. 
in uh what is this what's that something something sweet says the salted caramel banana pudding we saw that foolishness yesterday wasn't that yesterday y'all we saw that. oh well Vail, he, you know, i was watching in the, i told you i'll be watching in the shadow but didn't Vail put that on the screen that uh flying monkey article talking about some 10 things she hate about Darius crooks when it was gaslighting and then uh he scrolled down and got to the the um the caramel uh, salted caramel banana pudding and that stuff looked like some uh construction um compound for drywall then he got the red velvet cupcake it's three layers ah, cupcake three layers whipped cream uh cheese frosting crumbled pecan praline now everybody don't eat nuts this girl ain't got good sense what are you gonna put some nuts on there you better have them nuts be able to be separate uh white chocolate ganache now y'all know she was she was making weird again nothing really nothing original on this goddamn menu she been making the red velvet cupcakes from uh since she was on the west side no south side of chicago in her kitchen on kingston the other apartment she got evicted from Ooh, that's some story behind that too somebody did a background check i ain't gonna talk too much but <clears throat> some interesting stuff going on back then anyway peach cobbler warm syrupy peaches <laughs> warm syrupy peaches that sounds funny to say <laughs> warm spices <laughs> warm spices <laughs> who talk about the spices being warm <laughs> aren't the spices automatically gonna be the temperature of the, the, the food <laughs> you know she always doing some word uh word salad <laughs> she will be saying stuff warm spices <laughs> citrus pus puff pastry it's probably like pus <laughs> that was a 40 and slip Serve with whip mascarpone cream. Uh, get through the rest of it. Then the, the 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 drinks. I think it is right. Yes, I think. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Then the drink menu. Now Tommy should have did this. He the he the mixologist. <laughs> Cartels is the Bolly Bounce Lemonade. This girl doesn't make the Bolly Bounce. I can't even, it's so small. Some, some with some house. It was a homemade lemonade, bourbon, black, blackberry puree, uh, tropical peach jam, Kanye Kool-Aid mojito. What? <laughs> the chilled kangu. Kanye's Kiwi kickbacks. Why that thing named after Kanye? Flow rider OJ Delight. What's the connection? You just picking rapper names? Bali Beach Rum Punch. Snoop's Southern Peachy Peach Teeny. Lemonade Love Child Martin. Martini. Huh? <laughs> Red Kool-Aid Sangria. Again. This was served at the Dining with Darius, uh, Dining with Diarrhea, Dining with Diabetes events for eight years. Sweet Tea Sangria. Funky Dr. Dre Frost. That's too much going on. Funky Dr. Dre Frost. Cardi Sweet Mix. Cardi Strawberry Surge. It's very disjointed. You got some of them named after the rapper. You're going to probably fix this after I drag you. Some of them named after the rappers and some of them named after uh, your, uh, the local town and some of them just shit you done picked up from the, the, out the sky. It needs to be more coordinated than that. Uh, from the blender. I'm over it. Go to her social media to look at it. <laughs> I don't want to read no more. Anyway, then lastly i know i told y'all we we're gonna play the videos but i don't know because i don't know what the i don't know what's here i don't know what's here let's just, let's just take a quick peek i can't find what i, want. I don't know where stuff at hold on let's just see tasha 50 says can he use their names like that i mean he can if they don't if they don't um say nothing you know, she'll take them kind of chances. That's how she operate. 
it's I say I don't know what's on what. Well, let's play a couple minutes just because I because Vel did tell y'all uh, that he's gonna play some videos at the end. They, dude, you can't be promising them stuff that because I might not feel like doing it. You just talk about what you know you're gonna do. Don't talk about what you say I'm gonna do. I don't feel like doing the videos no more. What time is it? Yeah. Let's just see what's here for a second. I know it's good stuff on you. I just don't know what nothing at. Is it rice? Should have been had that done. I should have been went to uh, some Indonesia restaurants. Never started. It's um, Bali 50. B-A-L-I 50 is the code. I should have went to some Indonesian restaurants. I finally went to my first one. Um, I need to take y'all to the grocery store. I need to film that probably tomorrow. I might go tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going tomorrow because I don't have no food to cook. I don't have nothing to cook in the morning. So I need to pick up right to the store anyway. So I might do that um, in the morning. But uh, that's it. Stuff I should have been doing. And then editing. Stuff from Tokyo, too. Okay, that's him showing stuff. Seasonings from. are all like a little slightly different from the seasonings that we would get. I mean, the sauces that we get back in the United States. Oh, look. Mm. Pink, purple, whatever color it is. Fuchsia, uh, violet, that color, plum. <laughs> that color, um, they both good here. But what's really good is if you do a squeeze of lime on them. Uh, it's the look. Now, $50 in rupees, I mean, $60 in United States dollars is like 907,000. Um, 907. I just realized what I was talking about might be up in here somewhere. I don't know, y'all. Now, the rice on top of that, the scallion, a little bit of um, red pepper, I mean, uh, Cajun seasoning, and then a little, you know, sit on the side and eat it, child. Okay? Deal with it. Okay? Also, the other thing we're going to deal with real fast is let's deal with these snacks and... Um, I couldn't even believe how good it was. Okay. It's beef buns with the cilantro and the cute. They'll find it uh, for y'all next week. But there's a point in there where there's a, a, a Darius Crooks gets to talking about um, curry. And he talks about something is like a Jamaican curry. And a person who is uh, from India, of Indian descent, says, Ain't no such thing. Curry is Indian, blah, blah, blah. And Darius Crooks gets offended. He's like, don't like it, go goddamn, blah, blah. Hold on there. <laughs> don't nobody get no goddamn, that blah, blah, blah. You got to float. You want to uh, talk about your culture? Who cares? Uh, like all that. Very racist. Very, very um, derogatory when the person was trying to clarify you're misinforming your people as usual. So we'll find that. It's that and then the school with the grant stuff. So Vail B will have that for y'all on Tuesday. He'll, he'll get himself some notes. Give yourself some notes. I know y'all was taking your notes. He'll give himself some notes. But now we're going to get to this last segment. Making an executive decision. I ain't finna be scrolling through no video like Derek, uh, like Vail B be doing. I ain't finna do all that. Uh, are we good. That poll is good. Oh, you got a poll here. Here go poll. Last poll, I think, of the evening. Because uh, y'all know I'm with the ish. Last poll. Is Darius Crooks a bottom? Is Darius Crooks a bottom? I'm not talking about a bottom feeder. Yes, he's a bottom feeder. We're clear on that. But an actual power bottom. Is he a power bottom based on the, what you've learned about him over time? Is Darius Crooks a power bottom? Well, 
we've talked about it. Bill has shown some stuff over time. Well, we got new evidence. Uh, breaking news, breaking news. Vail want to work. That's why he wanted to take some days between these things. He want to he want to work on some trailers and stuff. Breaking news, power bottom alert. He be you know you be doing the graphics. Like, you do you you good with that? You getting better? You getting better? I know you working on some other stuff too. So, Vail B got a DM, and uh, it was from a person that Darius Crook tried to holler at. So we get to see Darius Crooks. Uh, uh, this is from a hinge uh, dating app, and so uh, Darius Crooks in his profile. Now, the guy didn't send the whole profile, so we just got work with what he sent us. Says here, Darius uses he, him, his, uh, scam yonce, scamel toe, three inches of sadness, um, and any other uh, scam pie. Scam Yonce, Scam Yak Holmes, Uncle Ruckus, Tummy Tuckus, Luther Scamdross, Crook, Crook Tomamus. Those are her pronouns. So at the part, uh, the part that get cut off, but you can't tell what's happening here. Uh, caption says, don't hate me if I, and Darius Crooks types in, you don't want to be friends first. Don't hate me if you don't want to be friends first. So she ain't looking for no relationship. She want friends with benefits. And y'all all know what that means. So then we scroll up. Oh, y'all can't see the notes over here. <laughs> you know, I'm you know, I don't be ain't been over here in a long time. So the next slide is the actual message. So this ain't the actual picture of the guy, of course. We ain't putting them out there. This is the guy's, uh, the, let's say that's his picture. Darius Crooks likes the picture. Then uh, they started to chat on November, the, the, well, that was October uh, 28th. Darius liked the boy's picture. Then on Thursday, uh, November the 2nd, uh, they started to chat. Well, so on the 3rd, November the 3rd, Darius Crooks says, hey, how are you? The, the person responds, greetings, I'm great. Getting my weekend started. How, how goes it with you? Darius Crooks responds, I'm good, man. What are you looking for here? He gets straight to the point. <laughs> Dates for the most part, maybe more, just getting out of a very uh, long-term relationship. It's a lot different than when I was just single. LOL. You? Darius Crook says, same. Then Darius Crook says, what kind of guys are you into? She ain't into Willy Mammoths. <laughs> no burnt walruses. No fat boys stuck in a bariatric body. So the guy responds to Darius Crooks when he said, what kind of guys are you into? He says, well, smart, funny, can challenge my brain. That's cool. Darius Crooks goes straight to sexually. Are you a top or a bottom? Oh, she get right to it. Um, the guy then responds, uh, I'm more of a side, but that's a bit forward. <laughs> Y'all ain't even, <laughs> ah, she done got right to it. I don't even know how many messages. I ain't got time to be trying to figure all that out. Right to it. She told y'all she a hoe, though. She told y'all she a hoe. She says, uh, uh, I'm a bit more of a side, but that's a bit forward. Not sure we're the best match in that case because you're doing too much. Darius Crook says, gotcha, okay. Her, her uh, fat boy stuck in a bariatric body got all sad, I'm sure. And then next thing you know, that's why she'd be posting, talking about some, it's rough out here, and these men ain't this, and these men ain't that. 
Uh, I hope I hope you blocked her. We talk about that. I hope you blocked her, cause you know she she full of tricks and stunts. If you ain't blocked her, block her now. So Scam Yance, uh got dumped again. <laughs> yeah, she got dumped again. So that's all we got though. Uh, early in the show, just so uh, recap for those of you who may have joined late, and you're like, what the hell is going on? Who did person? Why they'll be? How he grow a beard all overnight? What I was watching yesterday, he had no beard like that. He had the baby beard because he could barely grow hair. And then he got glasses on and all that. that I'm not Vel B. I'm Vel Nito. But Vel B was doing the early half of this show. Right. Uh, uh, Asia Sutherland said, rejected again. And I should have had the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the family feud buzzer. Oh, closing out this poll. Is Darius Crooks bottom 95% of y'all know the truth of the matter? 5% of y'all? I don't know. I ain't got time to try to figure it out. So we st started it out, the first half of the show, Vail B, talked to y'all about Corey and Corey having to return to work. Corey is now uh, struggling. He's struggling, trying to figure life out. He thought he was going to uh, be able to become a multi-billionaire uh, working with Scam Yance. Didn't work out. We knew it wouldn't. Didn't work out the way he expected. And now he's destitute. <laughs> Exaggerate a little bit, but his, he, he, he's concerned about his finances for sure. <laughs> so we talked about that. You can watch that if you missed it. Then Jeremy, Jeremy's glow up. Jeremy, uh, his updated that he had, he like Darius Crooks. He claiming he's making hundreds of thousands of dollars in three seconds. <laughs> no, so Jeremy says that he's made 100K in seven days off of his uh, stand mixers. And, uh, you know, we're proud of them if it's true. Now, some of y'all saying that y'all don't think the majority of the people in the poll we took said it wasn't true. They didn't believe it, rather. Then we talked about Tommy. Tommy Ford, who is Darius's uh, Bali connection. This is going to be interesting to see how this shapes out. Because I swear it doesn't look like he that Tommy is at the level to be able to put a whole restaurant together. But we'll see. But anyway, we talked about Tommy. We did more of a uh, more uh, deep diving with, uh, with Tommy, looking at his friends, the, his work situation. Tommy got 12 jobs. We think Tommy might be partially Jamaican. So uh, we looked into that. Uh, then uh, I took over the show, and we started talking about Scam Yance over here. Huh? And uh, we uh, did a little little review of uh, how her image in the public has now started to show the truth about her. People Google her, the truth about her, her scam, her plagiarizing, her cyberbullying, all that stuff pop up right away. Then even when you go to YouTube, saturated, you go to her channel, you uh, type in Darius, because next thing you know, Vail B's, uh, uh, exposés popping up all through that. People talk about Vail, talk about her too much. But now, Vail be all up in that, through that thread. That's on purpose. That's by design. And there's more to come, but he can't, he's art war. You don't show your hand. Just know there's more to come. Just know, there's, know that there's a whole plan being worked out right now. Just know that. Then, uh, we talked about, uh, Darius Crooks, uh, Never, never restaurant, never Bali restaurant, uh, hip hop, Neverland, and uh, went through the menu. Talked about that sh foolishness, that twenty year old, uh, the twenty year old uh, 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 items he got on there that he been making since he was fifteen years old. <laughs> Just making that up, but some of me have been making since he was nineteen years old. They don't know that for a fact because we used to eat some of that stuff. Same stuff he put on this menu. Talking about something, he's a brilliant. A uh, chef. People gonna be jealous. Jealous of you making the same ish that you got in your recipe book that you been making on uh on your your dry bag and IG lives cooking uh classes. Who gonna be jealous of that? People tired of looking at it. It's a shame when the people who don't even watch you can recite your menu and recite the items you make: collard greens, biscuits, uh, uh. 
with a peach cobbler, mac and cheese. I mean, we uh watermelon chow chow. We just run out of this. Dried up salmon with uh dried up onion, uh funions on top of it, and and uh cherry tomatoes, uncooked uh chicken nuggets on top of a salad with with uh dried up ego waffles chopped up. I mean, we could all recite your little menu. It wasn't even no salad on this menu, was it? It wasn't no salad on that menu, was it? Hold on. Did you not have a salad on your menu for a whole? Ah, forget it. Ah, she's so crazy. She's so silly. Girl ain't got good sense. Then, lastly, we talked about the breaking news. Somebody hitting the DMs. Sent, uh, once again, uh, info about Darius Crooks and what he be up to in them, in them streets. When he not in them other countries. Now, one of the reasons he go to them other countries and pays rents those boys that he he cold words them as uh pool boys. When he says that he's talking about the escorts he's hiring, but the flying monkeys, they don't know the difference. He's just talking about it last night or the whenever. Talking about, yeah, when you go to DR, they got some uh beautiful pool boys. You're talking about the boys he rent. He says easy over there. I don't have no problem when I'm over there. They don't negotiate. They just take what they give them. That's what he's talking about, meaning financially. Anyway, that's a recap of the show. If you missed any of that, check it out. Please hit that like button if you haven't. Vail B is on his road to 50,000 subs over here on YouTube and uh, 10,000 over there on Facebook and whatever y'all to give him over here on Instagram. Greatly appreciate it. So uh, with that, y'all have a great evening. Uh, please, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, he he wanted me to play this on the way out. Uh, we will see you next week. Uh, hit, uh, if you have, oh, 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 I think he, I think he had a cash app or something. I feel like I missed one. Yes, uh, Devana P, thank you so much, friend, for Vail B's cash app. I'm making sure I get a little piece of that. Then I, I feel like there was a super chat there, and I got the rumbling right in my mouth and forgot to call it out. Yeah, I think it's two of them here. No, it's one. Okay, I don't want to call that. Uh, Deborah, friend, thank you so much. Says, welcome back, Vel Nito. This is mine, right? This for me? This for me, friend? Vel, Deborah sent me the 499. Well, that is 499 minus the 30% the YouTube old traveling leg on take. No, let me stop. Let me stop. I love YouTube. <laughs> stop my, can't stop my bag. Anyway, with that, uh, y'all have an amazing weekend. We will catch y'all. Well, I'll be back whenever the hell I come back. I got other stuff to do. So I'll be back when I be back. Vail B will see y'all on Monday. And uh, with that, until next time, y'all make sure to take care and be blessed. Peace. Five, six, seven, eight. Why you gotta lie so much? You must wake up and just make up stuff. Cause I just do not understand why. Every time you talk, you tell a quick lie. You and your lies gotta go. Because I'm tired of talking to Pit Noki Yo. Then you had a nerd look folks in the eyes. Knowing that you telling them lies. You be telling them lies. I asked you about this. Did you lie about it? Yeah. I asked you about that. Did you lie about it? Yeah. Get them lies together. They all over the place. I bet if Jesus came back, you a lie to his face. Let's go, cause I don't believe that you say at this point, cause all you do is lie, lie.